All right, guys, in this video, we have a still 025 chainsaw. Uh, customers reporting that the, the clutch doesn't spin, like, you know, go to give it gas and chain doesn't spin. Uh, so, so something is going on, but before we get started, we're gonna check the, the, the piston and the cylinder. Before we even start trying to figure out what is going on with the clutch, I'm gonna inspect the piston, the rings, the cylinder, because if they're thrashed, they might change this whole job. There it goes. Man, did not want to come off. Come on, get off there. <laughs> So now I'm just looking down the, the exhaust. I'm just looking at the cylinder and the piston and the rings. And they look really good. That is good. So right now the, the bar is, you know, in the, it's in the lock position, so this doesn't spin. So we'll unlock it. Clutch is spinning. So we'll just pop this off. The bearing looks good. It doesn't look like it's beat up. The springs on the clutch look good. I've seen that where these are broken. Well, since this clutch looks good, I don't see anything like visually inspecting it wrong. I'm gonna start it up and see how it runs. Let's see what's going on with this. And I'm almost wondering if the customer had the, the chain lock, you know, the bar lock on, and that's why it wouldn't spin. As soon as I release that, it's, I mean, it's on a compression stroke right now, so a little bit tight, but that's moving fine. I don't see anything wrong with this saw. You can even see right here, the, the oiler's working great. You see in the video, the clutch is expanding. I mean, it might... You can see where the, the the chain was jumping. You can see the the cuts in there. So I think all I'm gonna do on this saw is I'm gonna order a new sprocket. Um, Why well, I got it apart, might as well get a new bearing. And we'll need the clip that retains it all on. I'm guessing this is probably all a kit. But let's get that ordered and let's put this thing back together. All right, our new parts came in. I'm gonna put our new bearing on. I'll just take a little bit of grease and work that into the bearing. You don't need a ton. All right, bearing is on. Put our cap on. And then our retaining clip. Put our bar on next. So now we're just gonna turn the adjuster. Get it in the back where we can get the bar in there. Chain in the groove. Make sure the chain is down in there. Tighten it just a little. All right, there we go. 
Now get us started. Put this cover back on. Put our two nuts back on. All right, now that I got kind of got it back together, just gonna check the tension of the chain. You want it so that the chain just barely the come the drive link barely comes out of the groove. I think we need to tighten just a little bit because this is just the initial tension that we're gonna put on it. Once we start it up and we run it. We'll have to readjust the tension on the chain. All right, that's good enough for now. It's not going to come off. All right, next thing to do is let's start it up and see what it does.